It's a 20 by 20 stack competing with 30 by 30s. This is crazy. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be testing, yes, testing a 20x20 20 20 stack which is called the Ori32 from Airbot. Now this is a 20x20 20 20 stack with 25 amp ESCs up to 4S BL Heli32 with telemetry, current sensing, as well as current limiting which is pretty insane. The filtration looks pretty good. The PCB of the ESC is pretty massive actually, you can see a lot of copper in there. I mean that, that thing looks like a beast and hopefully it'll perform. So we're going to be testing this with the 2306-2450KV Brother Hobby R7 motors I believe. And uh, we're going to see how well this thing is going to stack up. So that's we're just going to basically see how well the ESC is going to stack up. The flight control here is pretty sick as well. It takes up to a 6S, but don't mistake this could take a 6S. This could only take a 4S. So if you're using this flight controller with something else, it can take up to a 6S just to, just to clear that up right there. Unless you get um, confused from the posting. So the ESC is a 4S up to 25 amps. They're not rated, they're not saying what's the burst, but we could probably say 30. So this is a, this flight controller is an F4 flight controller, obviously 20 by 20 stack, so it's a micro stack with MPU 6000 gyro, a barometer, OSD, and um, yeah, and that's it. <laughs> and a couple voltage regulators. So overall, it looks like a really nice pretty sick stack for a 20 by 20. I haven't I've yet to see a stack this nice in this uh well designed and just uh, just overall looks really nice. So enough talking. I'm really curious to see how well this is going to test. So let's get started. Right, guys so the results are in and it's uh it's actually pretty amazing to be honest this is really good really good and let's get started so first of all we have the top two which is deep throttle noise level test and then the bottom we have the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers however i don't have the normal graph i kind of erased them by mistake and i couldn't get them back but anyways let's get started so here we have the throttle noise level it looks okay but don't don't you have to keep in mind this is a 20 by 20 stack uh, which was pulling roughly probably 35 amps and it's rated for 25 amps so I was using some brother hobby r7 2306 2450 kV which are very demanding motors with very harsh uh, magnets all right so this is how it tested now the test looks pretty good actually for a 4 in 1 ESC of a 20 by 20 stack it's crazy and let's start putting this into perspective here so yesterday, I think it was yesterday, I tested the DYS Aria 4-in-1 ESC, which is a 30 by 30 stack, and it's rated for 35 amps, I think, or something, and it goes up to a 5S. So let's take a look at a comparison. Okay, let's take a look at this. So now this is the DYS Aria 4-in-1 ESC 30 by 30, and this is the Ori 20 by 20, the Ori 32 20 by 20. That is, that is, it's better than the DYS Aria. As you can t look at, look how much, look how cleaner it's running in this area right there. So, uh, for a 20 by 20 stack, this is pretty damn impressive. And, um, yeah. So this is just the throttle noise level. Let's go ahead and do the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers here. They look kind of identical, but the Ori 32 is running much, much cleaner. You can kind of tell what's going on with the voltage, which is, it's crazy. It's, it's outperforming the DYS Aria 4-in-1 ESC which is really crazy for me. Um, I, I didn't expect this, to be honest. This is crazy right here. So let's take a look at something else. Let's take a look at the Dal RC engine. Since the Dal RC engine 4-in-1 ESC is the second best ESC I've ever tested, and it's also a 30 by 30 stack. So let's put this into perspective with the Ori 32 here. 
All right, where do we have? Okay, so here's the noise color. So this is the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers for the Dal RC engine. And don't, and don't forget, this is the second best 4 one ESC at the current moment in time that I've tested. And it, it's a very good ESC. It's on my favorite quads. Can you see this? That is that is pretty crazy. That is really, really good. Uh, this Ori 32 stack. It's uh, this is the this is the stack. Don't give me that HDLRC bullshit. This is the stack that you would put on a hyperlight build and expect it to perform. Uh, the moss, the fats on it were really good. Uh, the filtration was pretty. I mean, it's, it's right here. It's speaking for itself. I don't have to say anything. So let's take a look at something else here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Tico 32 4 in 1 ESC. Now, that is the best 4 in 1 ESC at the current moment of time that I have tested again. I have to be very clear about that. It could be on the planet. I'm pretty sure it probably is. So here's the throttle noise level test. So this is the best 4 in 1 ESC. I mean, um, it's, you know. There is, I mean, you can take a look just to put this in the comparison. You could see and check it out for yourself. But let's go ahead and take a look at the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. You see, this is this is a pretty good test. This is a really good test, actually, uh, for a 20 by 20 stack. This is, I, I would actually almost put this on the top four radar of 41 ESCs, and it's a 20 by 20 stack competing with 30 by 30s. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. For example, here's a Spedex IS-30. This is what you don't want to see. This is a Spedex IS-30 4 one ESC or IS-100. I forgot what it's called. This is a 30 by 30 stack, and this is a 20 by 20 stack. That That's just insane. That's really insane. And I was pulling 35 amps. I'm, I'm pretty damn sure. It probably hit even 40 amps. Um, but obviously, you can't keep that for much long possibly but what i can tell you is this is the best 20 by 20 stack i think you can possibly purchase on the planet i think okay if you guys think there's other ones let me know down in the comment section but please don't tell me hdlrc hdlrc has nothing on this ori 32 stack nothing uh, and i've i've had I've, I've went through a couple hdlrc stacks already the 20 by 20 stacks um they don't compare in quality and in, 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 in design and in hardware design or in, in, in performance. I, I doubt the, H, the HDLRC has such tiny pads. It, it, it's just not going to handle this well, uh, which is pretty crazy. So the Ori 32 is an absolute beast for a 20 by 20 stack. If you're thinking of a 20 by 20 stack, I currently from this testing, I highly recommend it. And this testing never failed. So uh, this, well, this gives you a clear representation of what to expect especially if you're going to be using some 1806 motors or 2205 motors for some hyperlight build or something it'll perform even better than this here i'm actually having it compete with the 30 by 30 stacks on a really massive setup um and that just speaks for itself you can take it the way you want to take it but overall the stack is absolutely phenomenal in my opinion and um i can't wait to build it and i will build it on a pretty demanding setup so it's it's a beast that that's all i can that's that's it it's an absolute beast here um it's it's just it's really good really good actually and well that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video i really hope it was actually useful to somebody out there and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions feel free to let me know and please consider joining my patreon it'll really support the channel allow me to keep this going and uh just giving us all this hidden information that nobody else is actually bringing towards us to us uh which i think is very important so you could make the right purchase instead of screwing yourself over and well that's it guys everything is linked down below if you could use those those greatly support the channel as well and i will see you next time peace out guys